Greetings and um, welcome. Uh, here we go. This is uh, just a, uh, a, well, hopefully a very basic, simple lesson to do with paradiddles. Uh, really, uh, if the idea is to make paradiddles work for you, um, rather than being some dark art or something you've just looked at in a rudiment book, I know when I first saw it, um, I saw it written down, it was a very, I'm old, you see, so... <laughs> So black and white and it just had it written out and I didn't hear it I couldn't and I didn't understand it was all just on the on the on the uh, on the snare drum and yeah I had no idea what to do with it so a few years later I uh, sussed a few things out had some lessons and um, yeah opened up a whole different world for me so this is just really just a very basic lesson. If you're obviously an advanced drummer, this is probably something you might want to skip. <laughs> Go and watch Thomas Lang or something. Um, this is just to do with paradiddles and to make them groove around the drum kit. Um, paradiddles, just in case you don't know, I'm sure you do, but it's uh, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So technically speaking, it should be called paradiddle, paradiddle. Yes. In this lesson, we're only going to do the accent on the first right and first left. So it's... Okay, so which is the pretty much the standard use of it. But there are lots of other things you can do with it. But for this lesson, we're not doing that. We're just doing that. Now, it's a good idea to work on this because this is the thing that actually that makes it groove. Is that I would... Um, suggest you do a very loud accent really overdo it like really and really make the other ones quiet now you're not going to use it like that in reality most of the time but what it'll do will teach your hands this uh, groove approach to it rather than being The most common thing is most people play it too loud or, you know, when you're beginning anyway. Uh, so you want to make it more... It's not about speed or anything at this stage. It's literally just getting the pattern into your hands. Uh, and you can do it... You can, you can do it with your hands. Literally just... Just do it over and over again. It just builds it up inside you. You can, you can, you want to be able to sit down at the drum kit and not even think about it. Um, uh, and bit by bit, it'll just start flowing out of you. To start off with, it's going to be a little bit sort of stiff, and we want to try and make it groovy. So what I would suggest is uh, playing it. Well, I'll play it, and then I'll tell you after what I'm doing. All right? uh, it's pretty straightforward, not rocket science. I'll just play it. Uh, I suggest. As with all these things, start off pretty slow. You don't want to go and go for the finished product right at the beginning. Literally just take it nice and slow. What you'll notice as well is when I'm playing this, um, I'm going to play a groove, and it's going to be a four to the floor groove. So in other words, it's, the bass drum is going all the way through, okay? Now the reason I'm doing that is for this purpose, what I'm trying to do is we're trying to lock this paradiddle in time with your 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 drum beat that you're going to play um, so obviously later on when you get comfortable with this definitely practice it with a metronome don't uh, do it free form but when you're doing it to start off with make sure you put this bass drum in and it will lock the whole thing together it's good practice as well so basically that those accents should come down bang on to on the money with the uh, with the bass drum okay so I'll play it enough rubbishy talking let's get on with it okay
Okay, so really straightforward, you're basically playing eighth notes for the first one, and sixteenth notes for the other one. So you're doing two power diddles, or one power diddle, depending on how you want to think about it. Power diddle, power diddle. <laughs> and then you're going power diddle, power diddle, power diddle, power diddle. Or just power diddle, power diddle, power diddle. <laughs> they are confusing well and truly. But if you're going to say para diddle, para diddle, then you're going to be doing two and four. <sighs> I dug myself a hole there, sorry. <laughs> so the next one, basically just move your hand. You want to get used to trying moving your hand around the drum kit. So start off with just put it on the floor, Tom. So you're just going to play exactly the same thing. So, and work with the accents as well, exactly the same. So you're going. Right? So you really just accent that really nice and nice and loud. Um, very often on a, on a, this is an electric drum kit, of course, uh, on, a, on a real drum kit, then a lot of those accents you can use using a, a rim shot, which is basically when you hit the rim, and the drum at the same time. This sort of does an emulation of it, so it's instead of being it's Yeah, especially in a rock setting, you're, you're, you're gonna use rim shots uh, because everything's loud, so you, everything has to be loud. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so let's just do the same type of thing, but using the, the floor tom, okay? Dead easy, as you can see, ready? So, yeah, straightforward. Uh, the important bit is the, the, the groovability. You probably, if you play this uh, like groovy on here, you can actually hear this. It, it actually reminds me uh, very much of uh, the Immigrant Song by Led Zeppelin, which has got this sort of uh, groovy beat, right? So when you play it groovy here, it should sound sort of similar to that. It's got that. Yeah, so obviously the speed will come later on, but you just need to work on that to get it groovy. Now, obviously, there's a million and one things. This is the idea of this, is just scratching the surface and you start thinking, okay, I can do this here, I can move this hand around here. So you've got... This way forward. anywhere on the drums which is the whole idea so if you just uh, if you've got the pattern in you you can just randomly move things around the drum kit and you will come up with some stuff that will sound good you'll also come up with some stuff that sounds really awful but that doesn't matter so just just randomly try you've got the pattern in your hand Just as you just sort of, sort of heard there, or you can go around the drum kit with it. Yeah, so you're just trying to get this thing <clears throat> inside you. Um, now, there's a what I'm going to finish this lesson just with a, uh, a tom groove, okay? Uh, and it is just the power diddle, that's all it is. Um, and it's one of those things you suddenly go, ah. Wow, okay, I understand now. This when I heard things like this, this is when it sort of opened up possibilities to me. I thought, yeah, power drills, they're not useless bits of rudimental rubbish. 
which is what you really think about things that you can't do. <laughs> you just dismiss them. Ah, oh, I don't like rudiments anyway. Who needs rudiments? They're just rubbish. Because <laughs> I can't do them. <laughs> Ready? So anyway, this should change your mind, hopefully. Okay, so power diddle. Using the floor tom again, as usual. Okay, so you're going to go. Yeah, very easy. And then we're just going to move it around the drum kit. I'll play it. That's the easiest way of doing it. And I'll play it sort of fast and I'll play it slow and medium. And you should hopefully better grab it. What you do with your bass drum is completely up to you. I would adapt it uh, according to taste. Um, the four to the floor thing works really well to cement the whole thing together. But if you can't do that, if that feels uncomfortable to start with, don't worry about that. But that is a good plan. You can take it out and choose to do what you want with it afterwards. You know, you just play the, the chord to note, the, um, and, or you can play, um, you can actually play what the right hand does. So you end up with it. Yeah. Play exactly the same thing that you do with your right hand as you do with your uh, on your foot. All sort of stuff you can do. But for this one, we're just going to play power diddles with the hands, and I'm going to just keep a solid. Uh, just a power diddle but it's getting used obviously to start with it feels a little bit awkward you're moving your arms around here but after a while it's it, it's the repetition just builds up inside you and you start being able to use this thing more creatively you can put all you know you, I'll just play some stuff okay And you probably noticed that I did a bit of uh, artistic license and I sort of messed around with it a bit there. But that was pretty much a power diddle. Uh, and obviously as you get into these things more, you can use double power diddles, triple power diddles, power diddle diddles, and all amalgamations of, the, of uh, everything in between. It is just a starting point to try and get your brain thinking about, wow, yeah, I can do this. As you probably noticed, I'm using the symbols as well. Put in, you can put all the accents on symbols. When you use an accent, remember, just remember when you hit a symbol, the bass drum goes with it. It makes sense to do a. Yeah. You can do it like that. Um, that's it. That's just all you need to know about drumming, ever. Nothing else matters. <laughs> um, I hope that's been helpful. And um, till next time, when I come up with some more wisdom that I've held deep within me for many years. <laughs> all right, enjoy and whatever you're doing, stay safe and all the rest of the governments. All right, be good.